Is you guys how's it going and welcome back to another FIFA 19 video. Now before we are right into this video, if you're looking to enter into our 25k giveaway as soon as we hit 100 subscribers, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below your console, and also make sure to stay active on the channel for our chance of winning the rewards and on to today's video. So for you guys today, I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of trading methods slash like sniping filters you can be using. And so the first one's super easy, Premier League, and then quality is going to be gold. And then I just find the lowest buy now, so at the moment, they're all going for 600 coins. So anything below that, maybe 500 coins or low, or lower, is uh, easy profit. And so then once you have that set, you can just go ahead and start sniping. Um, there's one for four, oops, there's one for 400 coins, just missed out. That would have been a nice uh, 150 coins profit, more or less. Uh, there's another one for 400 coins, but uh, yeah, I'm not very good at sniping, but yeah, if, you, if you're very good at sniping, it's super easy to pick up deals, um, and that's going to be the first method right there, and um, and so the next one I'm going to be showing you guys is going, or you can also uh, specify to specific positions, like maybe left back, um, so let's see how much left backs cost, I think left backs might be a bit more, uh, so yeah, so probably left backs are going for, let's see, yeah, so they're actually super expensive. So yeah, Premier League right, left back or right backs are going for uh, 1,300 coins. That's actually insane. So if you can get one for minimum buy now, maybe 400 coins, that's super, super easy to make profit. Um, you can probably do the same thing with center backs. Probably a bit higher, but you can probably still do it with center backs. Um, so yeah, 850 for center backs. And then left backs are probably uh, close to around what the uh, right backs are going for. Or so actually a little bit less. 1,000 coins right there, but as you can see very very nice method and the next one is going to be uh, With Everton players so you go ahead and locate the club Everton and so yeah once you find it Just go ahead and find the list by now. I believe they're going for around 800 coins or 750 uh, So yeah 800 coins right now. Uh, so very very nice method um, I recommend it you just go from for like 650 easy profit and uh, Next thing we're gonna be looking at is going to be the team of the week uh, so we're going to go ahead and go look at the team of the week. And as you can see, it's a pretty solid team of the week. Very well-rounded. Every position has solid players. Um, I definitely recommend if you can pick up any player for 10, 11k. And specifically these lower rated players like Adams, uh, Cordova, um, this player right here, or this one. Like any of these lower rated cards, all of them rise to at least around 14k, if not more, once the team of the week goes away. So if you can get them for anything less than that, it's easy profit. And then, um, and then, SBC wise, uh, yeah, for the future, um, I highly recommend going for players like Lafont because of his nationality, good, good um, league. Um, so right here, this is another good player. English players are always going to be effective. Um, and then Brazilians are always good right here. Um, Portuguese always work well. So yeah, there's a lot of good players to look at, and you can also go ahead and snipe them. Uh, if you do snipe them, you can always go for the big boys, but I usually would stick to these lower rated players, try to get them for around 11k, 10k, and then hold on to them for at least like a week until the team of the week uh, ends, because their, pri their prices always rise up to at least 14k. Sometimes, depending on SPC's requirements, they, I've seen uh, lower rated cards that I picked up for 10k rise all the way up to like 20k. Um, and then the final method I'm going to be showing you guys is going to be with uh, UCL cards. And so, um, just today I've picked up, let's see, I've picked up so many um, Christian Pulisic cards and so many of the, uh, or I picked up one Philip card. And the reason behind this is because uh, they just played to get against Tottenham and they lost 3-0. Um, and so the next match for the second leg is going to be in about a month. And so everybody's just panic selling all their cards. Everybody's prices are dropping like crazy. And so I picked all these cards up for around 18,000 to 20K. Um, and if you checked before, if you use an app called Footbane, which shows you all the player prices, you can look up all the cards and SBCs and stuff like that. Um, and then it's free, so I highly recommend using it. That's what I always use. Uh, but if you look up um, Pulisic, you can see uh, on the daily graph that he was before the match he was going for 50k and he's dropped all the way to 20k and so if i well if i were to hold on to him for um about a month i can make 30k profit right there um most likely what i will be doing though 
is because I'm not going to hold on to him for that long because that's just a long wait. You couldn't if you want to, but most likely what I will do is going to be that I'm going to hold on to him for a good maybe three or four days. And most likely his price is going to rise up again to at least at least maybe at least 30k. And so I'll just go ahead and sell and make a nice easy 10k quick flip. Uh, but yeah, so that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.